Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Scooter Wolf and this is an episode of The Wolf's Dead. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, feel free to hit the subscription button and continue to watch my content as I bring my unique mix of writing adventures, whether it's going to be daily commutes, day trips, longer excursions, or writing instructions, technical demonstrations, and setups. Or if you like, just leave a comment that's always appreciated. I love feedback. So with the pandemic, I hope winding down and the writing season in bloom, I decided to up my game. And to do that, I've gotten some new equipment, both to help me mount my action cameras to my scooter and to improve the quality of what I'm doing. So to do that, I've gotten some new cameras and um, some new audio equipment. So one of the first things I got was a Purple Panda lavalier mic, which is really nice. It really wasn't as expensive as I thought. Um, as you can see, it actually comes in this kind of nice uh, draw bag here. A little fancy, but um, inside we have some nice stuff. Um, gator clip, perhaps the most important part, the dead cat, as you can see, or a windscreen. We have a number of different types of adapter cables. This one's a little bit longer. So what's really nice is that the Purple Panda can be fitted to a, a number of different types of action cameras, whether they're gonna be GoPro um, or an audio recording device like a Zoom, which I have, I have an HN4. Um, it can fit into that. And it has a lots of different types of adapters, as you can see, for whatever your audio connection needs are going to be. And of course, here is the microphone itself and um, comes with a gator clip. That's my cat. And an extra one. These are really nice. Uh, they're very strong and I put them on my um, chin skirt on my helmet. And uh, I need something that really stays right. Occasionally, for whatever I'm doing, I might forget that I have the whole mic in there and I might lift up my um, front face of my helmet because it's a component helmet. And um, sometimes, Whatever clip I have, it gets pulled out. And uh, this hopefully will stay in. It's actually very good for that. So this for me was a nice investment. Uh, the, the, the mic I have right now is actually really good, um, but it's getting a little bit old. And if I want to have something on, again, my sort of portable um, audio device, my Zoom, this is probably gonna be on for that. Or if I'm gonna be using for any kind of like off the bike kind of audio recording of stuff, um, again, this is going to help me with that. So this was a nice investment. It really wasn't as expensive as I thought. Under $30, I want to say. So, plus whatever the, uh, the fees were for shipping and handling, which is kind of what I get you. But, you know, it's nice with all the extension and adaption cables that they give you. And this nice little bag we keep it in, so... That's going to be very convenient for me. So, okay, so the Purple Panda was one of the first things I got. And uh, I'll say, you know, it does have its set of instructions and guides and everything here for, you know, again, iPhone, Android, iPad or a tablet, Zoom, which again is what I have. Has cam so really convenient. Glad I got this. And really, because um, I have you know another sort of cheap um, lab mic that I was using for some um, recording. Again, like what I'm doing here. And there's something just really bad about it. Whether the cable um, is getting frayed or broken, or the connecting um, port. The uh, the mail connecting was bad or loose or something like that, so I wanted to replace it. So I figured, well, get something really good. So got the purple panda. So that's one of the things I got. Another thing here is a video microphone, and so the camera that I'm using to shoot this with this one here is another new camera that I got. Obviously, I can't show you because I'm using it to shoot, but it is a, um, a Canon Rebel 107i. I'm sorry, seven. Um, T7i, I'll get that right. Anyway, um, 
I wanted to get a mic that I can put on top of it. And again, this is something that I can use when I'm off the bike and especially if I'm out on the field and I'm not in a situation where I can use a lavalier mic or a lavalier mic is just not gonna be useful. Um, but as you can see, this is really nice and it fits on the top of my camera and connects to it, comes with a battery and as always, a guide, which I'm hoping is in English. Yes. So really shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Um, also has a windscreen, which is really nice. Put in there, it will fit on the top part of my camera. And again, something that I can do, again, if I'm off the bike, I'm in the field, and I wanna do some audio recording or um, commentary like this, and maybe it's not convenient for me to have my lavalier mic set up, um, but I can use this instead. So this is always gonna be very useful. Last but not least, I did get another action cam. This one probably is not as widely known. As the ones that a lot of moto vloggers use, mainly like the GoPro, um, I have a Drift. Um, this one is a Dragon Touch Vista 5. And I really wanted to get this for two reasons. One, it has stabilization. And two, it has a touch screen on the back. And uh, so I find that's gonna be actually very, very convenient to use, especially again, if I'm out somewhere, if I'm riding and I pull over and I wanna turn the camera on, turn it off, set it up for something different, having to go through and pushing buttons and everything else like that gets to be a little complicated. But if it's a touch screen, it might be a little bit more intuitive and easier to use. So this for me was a win-win situation and it was pretty cheap. This was only $25. So another reason why I wanted to get this is that because I can put this particular camera on places on my bike that might be a little risky or dangerous if I'm gonna use my more expensive cameras, whether I'm gonna use my GoPro Max, my Rylo 360 degree camera, or my Drift um, Ghost. Any of those I really don't want to risk. Again, um, it's a place that's a little precarious, but this one, eh. 25 bucks so if it falls off um, I'm not gonna really cry but again I do like the different functions and abilities that it has so let's take a look at this I have not opened it yet you are unboxing this one is supposed to be 4k it says here 4K at 30 frames per second. Um, again, it's got touchscreen. It does have a remote control that I can put onto my wrist. That's actually really nice. It does have a waterproof housing that is rated up to 30 meters, which is close to 100 feet. Um, I've never dove down 100 feet in my life, so I don't think I'll be doing that anytime soon. But you know, who knows? Um, I might be doing some underwater photography this summer. We shall see. Let's take a look at what we have here. So there we have the camera. And then next will come the box with all the other accessories. I'll put this aside. So the camera looks very familiar to my other kind of um, cheap action cam, which was a Tech Bean. And again, I got that for about maybe 30 bucks or so, which is actually really nice. And another camera that will continue to use, but it doesn't have stabilization. Um, but again, if I want to use it someplace that's a little bit risky, generally on the sides of my bike, um, I can put up a camera there and it doesn't get too much vibration. So I don't really get a lot of the jelly effect you get where the camera's shaking a lot. And, um, you know, it really kind of like ruins the footage, if you will. So this is actually really nice um, because again, it has the stabilization. It's already in the waterproof housing. And if I open it up, Again, very simple. And you know, the controls here are very much like a lot of the other cameras that I've seen for these cheap action cameras. But again, it has touch screen here. So again, I like that. Um, so controls on the side, ports, um, the SD card slot is right there. And a quarter, uh, quarter inch um, tripod. 
socket right there. So that's actually very nice. And of course, I have the waterproof housing that it will go in. And um, there we are. Get this in there. That's my cap. Okay, so this is nice. Let's take a look at the accessories. Okay, so I have again my remote control, which can be mounted onto my wrist. Many of your standard action camera mounting accessories. This is probably the strap for the remote control. This is probably my transfer cable or recharge cable. Again, I have different mounts here that I can attach to. Probably not my helmet, but some kind of a flat surface because it's not curved. I gotta make put this on my helmet. Um, another kind of a strap, security cables, a lens wipe, of course, reference material. This is for connecting to a bar. Uh, I really don't have anything like that on my scooter. Maybe my throttle or hand grips, but I probably won't do that. Um, these are really important because I can attach the camera to them and, it, and then to the various types of accessory mounts there. It's supposed to be like my battery charger, if I'm not mistaken. More accessory mounts. Oh, I did a lot. This is actually pretty good. Here is my battery. Looks like I'm starting to fall out of this little bag here. So I'm going to put that back in there. Another accessory. Two batteries. Yeah, I did see that. That's actually really nice. And then an additional cover screen to put, I'm guessing. Yeah, this is a secondary one in case something happens to the first one. So it's really nice. So um, for 25 bucks, pretty good. Um, and like I said, I can do a lot. This is just gonna add to my, I'm gonna call it my Tinker Toy collection of action camera mounts. I've got tons of these. Uh, you can never have enough. It's the fun to use. And um, so hopefully when I start getting back into motor blogging, which I'm gonna be doing pretty soon because my teaching semester is over and uh, I spent this past semester teaching a lot, like nine, I think up to about 11 classes uh, a week, which was a lot. So not leaving me a lot of time to ride and do much, but now that my semester is over, the riding season is here, the summer is before us, I wanted up my game. I wanted to do a lot more, so I can do more with sound on and off the camera. I can do more with how I'm gonna mount things um, onto my scooter. I've invested also a lot into RAM mount accessories and ways of connecting my cameras to the front of my bike, um, both my GoPro Max and my Rilo, my 360 degree camera. And now that I have this one here, I can put it on other parts of my bike that'll be a little bit more risky, but still have stabilization. And um, hopefully I'm still gonna get some good footage. Again, it says it's 4K, but for me, that's probably not something they're gonna use. It is 1080p at 60 frames per second, which is exactly what I really want to use it for. So all of this is going to be very, very useful for what I'm going to do. So again, if you like what you see, um, thanks for watching. Feel free to hit the subscription button, leave comments, love feedback, and thanks for watching. Take care. and watch as I bring my sort of unique blend of writing adventures. Cut. Sweetie. And if you like what you see, feel free to hit the subscription button and hopefully 